Thanks, guys. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> that was brilliant, mate. I think we could see a smile from here. Nice job. Well, five and a half hours later, that smile was no more as Daniel Ricciardo was excluded from the race. FIA scrutineering reported a discrepancy to the stewards and they deemed that his fuel flow had consistently gone over the limit of 100 kilos per hour. And we can get the reaction now from team principal Christian Horner is talking to Tom. Um, extremely disappointed, quite surprised and uh, we will of course appeal. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully through the appeal process, it will be quite clear that the car has conformed at all times with the regulations um, and that uh, you know we've we've complied fully with the technical regulations if that's the case how come you have been disqualified from this race well these uh, fuel flow sensors that have been fitted by the FIA um, to measure um, fuel which have proved problematic throughout the pit lane and since their introduction you know at the start of testing um, you know, there's been discrepancies in them and they've been unreliable indeed. I think even some cars have, may well have run without them, you know, during uh, the race itself or that have failed during the race itself. So um, we had a fuel f flow sensor that, that was fitted to the car that we believe to be in error and therefore based the, our calculation on the fuel that the injectors are providing to the engine, which is a, calibra a calibrated piece of equipment that is consistent and standard across the weekend that we've seen zero variance in. So Red Bull clearly going to appeal. What are your thoughts? Well, uh, they obviously feel they have a strong case and uh, it's going to be interesting because the FIA have their position. They have to rely on the information they're given from the, the fuel flow meters that they have available to them. Um, this could well be a reoccurring talking point of the season. Oh, I, I do hope not. Do you, do you, what do you think? Do you think he could be reinstated and that, and that this is all going to go away? I don't think it's all going to go away. It certainly will go to the Court of Appeal. There's no question about it and go through the process. Uh, there's two sides to every argument, but I think we always knew that there was going to be a situation like this would come up at some point. It's still a little bit disappointing that it probably took a little bit of shine off what was a superb performance by Red Bull and also by Daniel Ricciardo.